Hey, this is Corey from Wolfpack Woodcraft, and this week's book is by James Wesley Rawls, the author of How to Survive the End of the World as We Know It, and founder of SurvivalBlog.com. This is Tools for Survival, uh, what you need to survive when you're on your own. Now, when I think of survival, I think of being out in the woods or being out away from home, right? I don't think about like a home base survival situation. I think about being out in the elements. And this book is not about being out in the elements. This is very much a home base book. And so I can see a lot of people picking it up thinking it's going to be something that it isn't. Uh, if I was going to title this book, I would title it Tools for Self-Reliance. Okay, or, or Off-Grid Self-Reliance. It's not really an off-grid book, but it's more of a home base you know, get your house together, the tools you need to take care of your yard and everything. And essentially what it is, is it's pretend you're in a world where there are no mechanics, there are no carpenters, there are no machinists, there are no nothing, right? You're just on your own and you have no one to call for help. These are the tools that you are going to need to take care of your everyday life. You're going to have to take care of your vehicles. You're going to have to take care of your house. You're going to have to take care of your yard. You're going to have to fix things, build things, you know, and these are the tools that you're going to need to accomplish all those tasks. And so one of the things that I want to do for you guys is I want to read the chapters to you, what the different chapters are, so that you can get a better understanding of what this book is, and that way you can decide whether it's worth purchasing or not. And if you do want to purchase it, I will leave an affiliate link in the description box down below. It really helps out the channel a lot, so thank you for using that link. But chapter one is setting up shop right? So again, we're not on the middle of the woods. We have a garage. We have a shop. Uh, it's going to talk about how to set up and organize things. It's going to talk about needing a workbench with a bench vise on it. Uh, there's going to be things that you're going to need to purchase and have in order to set up shop, right? Uh, chapter two is food pre preser preservation and cooking tools, uh, gardening, farm, and ranch tools, sewing and leather work tools, shop tools and tool making, electrical and electronic tools, mobility and counter mobility tools, welding and blacksmithing tools, fire prevention and firefighting tools, timber, firewood and lumber tools, rifle, shotgun and handguns, archery, medical and sanitation tools and supplies, uh, knives and traditional hand tools, and then lifelong learning and skill building. Okay, so again, you're not out in the middle of the woods. You are at a home base location and you have the tools accessible to you. You have the ability to store the tools inside of this book. Uh, it's, it's more of a self-reliant book than a survival book, in my opinion. And I really like it. It's hard for me to recommend this book to everyone. Well, for me, I take for granted the fact that I grew up in a construction home. My older brother worked construction, I've worked construction, my dad's worked construction. And so we've been around tools, I've been around tools my whole life, right? And I've also been an auto body technician, I've worked in a machine shop, I've worked uh, in an assembly line, I've worked with tools most of my life, lots of different kinds of tools, drill press operator, saw operator, punch press, bending, uh, benders, uh, there's a lot of tools that I've used. My dad used to tell me the only difference between us and the professionals is the tools that we use. And so when I picked up this book, I was expecting to learn a lot of different survival tools. And that is what this is. This is going to teach you how to set up shop, how to make sure that things are accessible because owning a chainsaw that's buried under a bunch of stuff and you just don't bother going and getting it doesn't mean that you own a chainsaw right you're not using it there's no point in owning it and so you organizing and keeping things accessible and everything is another key point of this book and so it really is a good good book especially if you don't have that if you're, if you're not mechanically inclined and you don't have that knowledge of tools this is going to get you there but if you are a carpenter right there's a lot of chapters in these books that are just going to be like duh 
right? Like, yes, I, I already know all of that. But it's such a wide variety of things that it, right? Like, like gardening, farming, and ranching tools, right? If you're good at everything else, right? You might not be good at gardening and farming or sewing and leather work or electrical and electronics. You might be an electrician. That chapter might not mean anything to you because you've been doing it for 10 years, right? Or like the uh, welding and blacksmithing tools. If you're a welder, you're already going to know all that stuff, right? But it's all the other things in here. And so you're not going... If, you, if you're not mechanically inclined, you're going to enjoy this entire book. This entire book is going to teach you an in-depth tools that you need, why you need them, how you're going to want to use those, why they're important. But if you come from a tool-heavy background, a lot of it is just common knowledge to us. All right, It's not common knowledge to everyone, but to somebody that is a welder, they're going to know everything about welding and blacksmithing. They're going to understand it probably better than this book's going to explain it. Uh, if you come from a uh, construction background, the construction stuff is going to be common knowledge to you. You're probably going to know more than this book is going to share. If you come from a sewing, if you sew leather and make knife sheaths, uh, even as a hobby, you're going to know everything in this book. And so it's not... It's for everybody, but the whole entire book's not for everyone. That's what I'm going to leave it at. There are chapters in here that I learned a lot from. There were chapters in here that I pushed through because it was just common knowledge to me. And so for me, I just kind of skimmed through it because I already know it, right? And so with that being said, I'm going to give this book uh, 8 out of 10 because it does what it does very well. It's a very good book. I also don't think that everyone's going to enjoy it. I don't think that this is a book that you need. But if you are interested in the tools, if you're interested in being self-reliant, if you're interested in making sure that you can take care of your home, uh, this is a definitely a book that I suggest for you. So with that being said, leave any knowledge or questions in the comment section. Do you have the tools you need to survive the end of the world as you know it? Leave that in the comment section down below. Share this video so that other people can see what this book is about. And if they're interested in it, they can pick one up as well. And I can't wait to see you on my next video.